are back YouTube. For anyone who's returning, thank you, and for everyone who's new, welcome. I'm Mitch, and this is Retro Rummage. I am going to game my channels buying games, DVDs, Blu-rays, any electric items I get my hands on at car boot sales, Facebook Marketplace, or charity shops for a cheap price. So I'm getting traded into CX at a high price, so I can build my own gaming collection. So yes, back with a not so CEX roulette. Um, as basically I was doing my weekly trip to um, CEX, traded in a few bits, and um, as always, you know, I have a quick look in uh, what they've got in the old retro section just to, you know, see if there's anything new. And nine times out of ten, there's nothing. But on this occasion, there was uh, one game that caught my eye. So I'll put a little bit of uh, footage up now just uh, to see if you can guess which game it might be. But yes, basically, um, the stars are aligned. I've traded in a load of stuff. Obviously, I've bought my PlayStation 5 recently, got a couple of games for that, and this was the first... A uh, bit of vouchers that I had spare at the time. Um, and yeah, I've been after this game for a while. I've actually, I think I've done two or three CEX roulettes on this. Um, originally, it was a, around, I think, £70 or £80 when I first tried buying it. Um, obviously, failed on, on both occasions. Never come with the manual, um, I believe, in on either of those occasions. I think it was twice I tried buying it before, so I'm pretty sure that this was third time lucky. Um, but the price has shot up now. Um, and it's falling into what is now classed as a PlayStation 2 rarity. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll flip the cameras. Obviously, I haven't got a box. I've just got it in a bag, but I'll quickly open it up. We'll go um, do some gameplay footage and then yeah, go over the game at the end. So yes, as you can see, uh, I've got a new stand as well, um, or tripod, whatever you want to call it, for this overhead shot now. So hopefully, um, it'll be better than last time. So I think basically the axle had started breaking on the other one and it was uh, dipping every time I put the camera in it. But fingers crossed it's a lot better this time. But yes, the game is Haunting Ground on the PlayStation 2. Nice and complete. Obviously they do specify with manual. I think it, if you can see on the side there, uh, it says Haunting Ground plus manual box, PlayStation 2 rarities. So yeah, £100. I think Although this is not my most expensive PlayStation 2, uh, sorry, second most expensive PlayStation 2 game that I've bought, it is the second amount of money, second most amount of money that I've uh, spent on a PlayStation 2 game because a lot of the games that I've bought previously for £80, £90, they've all shot up to over £100. I think games like um, 10,000 Bullets, what else have I got down there as well? Um, yeah, there wasn't. I'm sure I've got another game that's over £100 now, but I can't think of it off the top of my head. See, I was watching um, Gentleman of Games uh, a couple of, couple of days, a couple of weeks ago, and he was saying how he was jealous of the fact that I had um, Clock Tower 3 and that he wanted it, and obviously he, he bought it now for... Oh, sorry, he's bought it recently for £60. And I think, well, I got a copy of it from the boot sale for £2, but before that, I did actually buy mine for £40 uh, with the manual, but I'm jealous of him because <laughs> he ha he's got the uh, haunting ground, which I believe he paid maybe like eighty pound for something like that. So obviously I'm now twenty pound more expensive on on haunting ground. So the money that I saved on Clock Tower Three, I've now spent on haunting ground. <laughs> so it just goes to show the cheapest way to collect games is buy them all now, so that they uh, <laughs> so that when the prices do go up, you uh, you know you make a saving because. Yeah, it's just get, it's getting out of control at the moment, especially PlayStation 2. I've noticed that they're going very, very high. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's crazy times out there for retro video game collectors. But looking forward to giving this a go. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's not a game that I knew anything about as a kid. I don't remember it being out. I don't remember any of my friends having it um, or anything. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to playing it. Obviously, I love my horror games, Silent Hill, Resident Evil, Recently completed um, Dino Crisis on the PlayStation 1, which I absolutely loved. Never got to complete that as a kid. So really looking forward to giving this a go. So yeah, let's uh, flip the cameras and do some gameplay. Right, as always, with uh, the old, yeah, horror walkthrough ones, it is a little bit hard to do a complete overview gameplay because it's not like I can do a level or, or something like that. So I'll try to give you... 
um, a rough idea of, of the game and, and what it's like. Also, one thing that um, he did say was that the horror franchise, horror games, didn't really sell too well on the PlayStation 2, which I wasn't aware of, to be honest, but I, I suppose it kind of makes sense. Um, obviously, he had some that, that did sell well, but uh, is, is in a whole. Um, it does make sense as to why some of these games have got such great value. I think uh, Project Zero, that's another one now, where the prices of them are, have started going through the roof. Um, I mean, Clock Tower 3 on its own has gone... When I bought it, I think it was £40 or £38 on the PlayStation 3. It's now all the way up to... Um, PlayStation 3 through PlayStation 2. It's now all the way up to £60. This is obviously £100 as well. So, yeah. I think I think in general, the PlayStation 2, it's, it's now getting to maybe... Well, I don't know about the peak, but it's definitely getting to a point where it's uh, a lot more expensive. So, uh, some of the games are, you know, probably more expensive than the PlayStation 1 now. I think in general generally speaking i mean you you tell me i think maybe the playstation 2 is more collected for than the playstation 1 so it's probably got higher demand for those games as well hence the higher prices all right so can i use analog stick i can where can i walk to Oh, you can run. X is run. You've got to love these old horror films, you know, uh, horror games. You probably won't get away with it now, but yeah. Yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to start with some woman in her nightgown running about in a mental asylum with a massive set of bristles on her. <laughs> so yeah, right, let's go upstairs. Can I pick up these things? So throw set kick dash search but aesthetically it does look good i mean one thing i will say about the old horror games is they are very very hard i always struggle to to get through them i mean dino crisis i basically had to follow the um the guides on the internet because I just wouldn't be able to do it on my own otherwise. Maybe it's just me, I'm I'm stupid. <laughs> and these games are easy. But yeah, for me, I always find them very, very difficult. I suppose it's where you're given the freedom to, to roam around and, and have a look and search the map yourself. Oh, wow. That looks really cool, actually. The the graphics outside was a little bit off, but yeah, now we're inside. It looks really, really cool. I can't just walk around in these <laughs> bed sheets. Call me old fashioned. Let's get you another set of bed sheets. Oh. Gotta love these old cutscenes. Uh, wait, don't go. Oh, she's English. Um, excuse me, but where are we? All right, let's get the clothes. Oh, got someone behind the uh, <laughs> someone behind the painting, hoping to get a free show. Oh, looks like they're getting one. <laughs> what rating has this game got? Sixteen plus. I think this game's maybe a little bit more adult themed than it's uh, letting out. Uh, 
Absolute massive set of bristles on the girl. Really, uh, really good, you know. I mean, maybe it's just where I've been playing PlayStation 1 lately, but there's no load screens going through each door. Is it always like that? I can't remember. But yeah, first impressions, is aesthetically, it's very, very good. Um, again, it's probably where I've been playing PlayStation... Uh, where I've been playing PlayStation 1, but it just seems really, really well put together. Oh. Lavender. Another cutscene. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> She's probably running away like a damsel in distress. <laughs> Am I dying or what? I'm dead. His motorboat in a. Am I dead? <laughs> How do I, what do I do? Oh no. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll call it there for now, because, as always, I don't know what I'm doing without a guide, so. <laughs> but, yeah, we'll, um, we'll cut it. Oh, God, what's he doing to her? <laughs> we'll cut it there, and uh, I'll give you my overview. So, yes, Haunting Ground on the PlayStation 2. Classic early noughties um, horror franchise game. You know, you play the over-sexualized damsel in distress <laughs> with a massive set of cans on her but um yeah obviously first impressions very very good aesthetically um looks very clean the gameplay you know how you circumnavigate the map and everything very very good um looking forward to you know sticking a couple of hours into this whether or not i'll get around to completing it this year i do not know 
but um, it will be a game that I look to complete in the future because I do love my horror survival games. So yeah, all in all, a very, very good game uh, to be adding to the collection. Obviously one of my pricier ones on the old PlayStation 2 now, but um, I think that's just a sign of more to come, especially with the PlayStation 2. I've noticed though, on the flip side, that PlayStation 1 has started to dip. So maybe we're, we're at the end of the, the PlayStation 1 bubble and just entering the uh, the start of the PlayStation 2 bubble. So, you know, I'm no expert, but I would probably assume that, you know, if you're going to buy any games or, you know, you're thinking about putting or so you've been thinking about pulling the trigger on a game, probably now is, is the best time to do it because um, I could probably only see them going up, especially with how CX are operating with manual, without manual, obviously all this rarity section and stuff like that. Um, but hey, that's just my opinion. Don't listen to me. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you all in the next one.